YouTube. This is VR Grow here with a new tutorial about building uh, something you'll find you'll find pretty handy for your grow situation. Uh, what I'm going to show you is how to do a do-it-yourself aero pot or what they call a smart pot. You need just a little bit of some supplies from your local Walmart, of course. Uh, some of the things that you'll need, of course, is a pot. This can be done with any size pot. This is a one-gallon pot. Um, you can do up to three gallons with the particular type of supplies that you can get there. Um, but it's extremely inexpensive, extremely easy to do. You just need a few items, some small tools, and you're on your way. First of all, this pot is a one-gallon pot. It was available also at Walmart. Very simple one. It's under, a, under $2, actually. Um, plastic. And, of course, what you need for making the Aero pot itself is these reusable bags. It has a breathable type plastic material or felt like material that is perfect for using it in a smart pot type construction. It will wick out water but yet hold and uh, the soil in and allow it to breathe properly so the roots get all the oxygen they may need. Uh, some of the simple tools you'll need of course is just a simple hand drill, a uh, hole bit which basically will uh, allow you to make uh, round circular holes within the pot itself and a drill bit for opening up some of the drainage areas that would be on the bottom so what I'm going to go ahead and do is show you what to do with these particular items and get you on the way to building your own pot stand by okay one thing I wanted to mention um, after drilling some initial drain holes is this particular pot actually has a removable base um, what I did was I left the base on as it was and drilled completely through so therefore when the base goes back onto it um, the holes will be exactly lined up with each other thus allowing proper drainage. I found that if I misaligned the holes then water would catch along the bottom and not properly drain through the base. Um, I'm also going to add a larger hole here um, for the bag area so what will happen is as the bag drains through um, the hole here will act as another area for a larger amount of drainage to occur so you're not drilling through the bag you're just drilling through the base of this just to kind of open up the base a little bit more so hold tight I'll show you exactly what it looks like in a minute okay this is what the bottom of the pot is going to look like um, doesn't have to be perfect but as long as you have a circular hole so that the bag will rest along the bottom and then it, all the water that accumulates at the base of the bag will be allowed to have at multiple spots to drain. Um, I had to change batteries because uh, the old stupid drill decided to die on me but make sure you're, you have a uh, backup battery at least. Um, but what I'm going to go ahead and show you also that's also a, kind of a handy little tip. If you go ahead and put a little mark on the base and on the pot itself. It makes it easier to kind of line up all the holes again in case you have to pull the uh, base off to do any kind of uh, clean out rocks and debris and material or anything um, anything else that actually would hinder the drainage. Um, but just kind of a, a little, little tip to kind of make sure that you have everything lined up properly. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I'm going to go ahead and do around the perimeter of the pot itself. That is the part that will allow the most oxygen to get to the roots. You will do a pattern of holes, high, low, high, low, it's fine. This actually is a, is a good pot to use for my particular purpose because I can use these as border areas to kind of line up where the holes will be. I don't need to put anything around the upper edge because the soil height will be in an area where um, it's not necessary mostly around the barrel or the, the midsection of the particular pot. So stand by, I'll go ahead and do that and then you'll see what the end result looks like. Okay, here's the end result of the finished aero pot. Um, once you put the bag inside, you can trim the edges to kind of make a little border. Um, I usually prefer using rubber bands. I was out of them right now, but uh, wire ties can make a proper uh, brace to keep it in one place uh, but you can also use anything that you have on hand so this is it this is basically a finished piece and uh, use it as you will happy harvesting see you guys later